Remember this guy? The mummified monkey found in an air duct of the old Dayton's building. A lot of stories came out about how that monkey ended up there. Now, two months later, the real story is still a mystery. But you can come up with your own theory and check out the monkey for yourself. Heidi Wigdahl has the story. This week, St. Paul was the place. He's looking at us. NPR raccoon the star. I don't even know if he's aware that the world is watching him. Going into it, we didn't know how the story would end until we saw her make it to the top and back out into the wild. Less than a mile away at the Science Museum of Minnesota, another animal story is still unfolding. Pops, what up to you? I think it looks like a bat monkey. It looks creepy for me. It's like a monkey mummy. Unlike the NPR raccoon, attention on this monkey story started at the end now on display at the Science Museum. And they finally found it. Yes, the little tiny monkey that was found in the Dayton's Macy's debris as they're remodeling. Construction workers found the mummified monkey in an air duct. And that little gas inside his body, like white heel. And while there are theories, no one knows for sure where it came from or how it got there. I mean, how long was it there before it was discovered? It, it's Kind of like, what's the history of the monkey? They had a pet shop in the middle of Dayton's, and in the 1960s, it was pretty popular to sell monkeys. The Science Museum says it was naturally mummified from the warm, dry air moving through the air duct. Scary, kind of. I don't think it looks good. Looks weird. It's tinier, smaller than what I first thought or expected it to be. Yeah, it's really tiny. So much we can still learn from a monkey whose story is still a mystery. In St. Paul, Heidi Wigdahl, CARE 11 News. That monkey's on display in the lobby of the Science Museum of Minnesota, and you can see it from now until September 3rd. And now to the NPR raccoon, which is still trending today. Minnesota Public Radio says they've sold thousands of raccoon t-shirts and totes. NPR added sales continue to climb, much like our favorite raccoon. A portion of the proceeds from the shirts go to the Wildlife Rehabilitation Center of Minnesota.